Hi everyone, Megan Claire. Bet you weren't expecting to see that. Yeah, neither were we. So I'm about to take you out to the Fakahachi Strand. Just for the record, that was a highly venomous cottonmouth snake attacking us in Florida. But before we get to today's video blog, I'd like to do a quick shout out to all of the amazing new friends that I've made in the, within the travel blogging community. So to everybody within We Travel We Blog, and especially Nicole, Emma, Kimmy and Justin, you're all amazing and thank you so much for your support. So next week's video is going to be a question and answer session, so leave your questions in the comments, anything travel related, and I'll answer them in next week's video. So welcome to Swamp Meg 2.0, which is the second installment in our Florida files. So we're out here in the Fakahachi Strand Preserve State Forest, which is the Amazon of North America. And the Fakahachi Strand is a linear swamp forest, which is approximately 20 miles long by 5 miles wide. So this strand has been sculpted by the movement of water over thousands and thousands of years, and clean, fresh water is the key to its existence. It's a haven for endangered species of plants and flowers and a huge array of endangered animals. Um, there's a 13 mile scenic drive which you, which you can take near the visitor centre, however we um, believe we're a bit more adventurous and we've been taking the back roads and we're doing a bit of backcountry biking um, through completely wild land and completely wild area. The trail is over um, tram tracks that have just been completely covered up over the years. So it's been, it's very interesting and it's a bit eerie even. Let's go and explore the Fakahachi. Get a good feeling, yeah. I get a feeling that I never, 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 never had before. No, no, I get a good feeling, yeah. Oh, sometimes I get a good feeling. So we've just ridden for about an hour deep into the Fakahachi and we've now got a flat tyre. So I guess we're walking all the way back. It's gonna be a long three, four hours. So we've just been lunged at by quite a large cottonmouth snake. Um, the majority of calls out for snake bites in Florida are from cottonmouths. It's generally because they're the most abundant in this area and because they're the most aggressive. So obviously cottonmouth comes from their white mouth. Um, when they feel threatened they open and yeah, <laughs> very venomous. So as I mentioned, the Strand is a haven for wildlife. We're actually out here today hoping to be lucky enough to spot a Florida panther. Just up from the Strand there's actually a Florida panther national reserve um, because if you're going to see them then it's going to be here. It's just completely wild and completely untouched natural habitat and they still pursue white-tailed deer. So who knows, you've got a chance of seeing them. You can also find black bears, eastern indigo snake, there's everglade minks and the resident and migratory bird life and is just spectacular. So it's surprisingly not only wildlife lovers who are attracted to this area, but also orchid lovers. And you know how there's a saying that you don't mess with a dog person or a cat person? Don't mess with orchid people. Apparently there's a really loony subculture for the flower lovers in this area. Because the Fakahachi is the home to about 44 different native orchids, and they're some of the rarest orchids in the world. Um, they actually have a lot of the Fakahachi closed off, and you can do a guided tour. However, if they do take you out to see some of the rare orchids, then they I've been told they blindfold you just because because they're worth thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. They're literally some of the rarest in the world. Um, when they bloom, they bloom for about five days during August and people fly from all over the world just to this area just to see if they can see these orchids. It actually got to a stage where park rangers were getting shot because they were trying to apprehend these people who were trespassing on the land and um, trying to smuggle the orchids out. So, a bit crazy. Part of the Fakahachi Strand is home to the 10,000 Islands and West Indian manatees, if you're lucky, you can see floating about and American crocodiles, surprisingly, also carry on this very secretive existence in this area. So I promised that I would not use the see you later alligator line to sign off again because apparently that's too cheesy, so in a while, crocodile. <laughs> 